And welcome back to Do I Need a Lawyer? I'm Gary Martin Hayes. Thank you for starting your day with us. If you have a question that you would like for me to address, pick up the phone. It's real easy. It's completely free. There's no obligation and the confidential or the, the consultation is always confidential. 770-934-8000 or email me, gary at garymartinhayes.com. Now let's go to a question from one of our viewers. Hi Gary, I have a question regarding all of the ads I've seen lately about the lawsuit involving testosterone. I was using a testosterone replacement for a couple of years. I'm 65 years old. In November of last year, I had a heart attack. I don't know if my heart attack was related to the testosterone or not. I've been in very good health prior to the heart attack. Am I okay to start taking the testosterone again? And do I need a lawyer? And that comes to us from Stanton in Noonan. Stanton, thanks for the question. And folks, we receive a lot of calls and emails from people on the uh, south side of Atlanta as a result of the show. So great to hear from you and, and I appreciate the question and you bring up a very important point. We handle claims all over Georgia. We know what it takes to help injured victims and their families, and we get the job done, no matter where the accident or the incident happened. So Stanton, thanks again for the question. And I'm sorry also to hear about your heart attack, and I hope and pray that you make a full recovery if you haven't already. Well, let's, let's talk a moment about testosterone therapy litigation because we're seeing this all over the news now. Testosterone is a hormone that is involved in maintaining sex drive, muscle mass, bone health, and also energy levels. However, as us men get older, the testosterone levels in our body naturally decreases. The number of prescriptions written for men diagnosed with low testosterone or low T has more than doubled since 2006. And there's some estimates out there that there are approximately 13.8 million American men now experiencing the effects of lowered testosterone levels. In 2011, five 0.3 million prescriptions were written in the United States. And the ads for all the testosterone treatment programs are, are all over the TV and in magazines. They promise that their low T therapy will help treat symptoms of low energy, sagging muscles, decreased libido, mood changes, and emotional issues. These products are used by nearly 4% of men in their 60s. But this is staggering. Nearly 25% of the patients that are prescribed low T products have never had their testosterone levels even checked before they begin the therapy. But let me talk about a study that has now raised a lot of concerns about these low T therapies. And this is a study that was conducted by a group of researchers affiliated with the National Cancer Institute and it involved approximately 56,000 men. The study revealed that some men that use these prescription testosterone therapies have an increased risk of suffering heart attacks. Men over the age of 65 had twice the rate of heart attacks in the three months after beginning the testosterone therapy. Men under the age of 65 who had some form of pre-existing heart disease had triple the risk of a cardio event. And the study went a little further. It also addressed whether these men on the testosterone replacement therapy were at a greater risk of cardiac issues versus a separate group of men who were just taking Viagra and Cialis. The study found that the men on erectile dysfunction drugs did not experience more heart attacks. And the Journal of American Medical Association also published a study on low T replacement therapies. It had similar results as it found that older men had a 29% increase in stroke, heart attack, and death when undergoing testosterone therapy. Injuries could occur within 90 days of exposure to the drug via topical gel, transdermal patch, or injection. And folks, it, it gets worse. There was a federally funded research study back in 2009. The purpose of the study was to find out if testosterone gels could help older men build muscle but the study had to be stopped because some of their research participants were suffering heart attacks and other problems. Now here is a very important date regarding testosterone therapy. January 31st, 2014, the Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, announced it would start investigating the risk of heart attack, stroke, and death in men that used prescription testosterone products. And Stanton, this is an important note that was in the FDA's announcement. The FDA recommends that patients should not stop using these products without first talking to their doctors or other healthcare professionals. So your physician should help you determine whether or not the benefits of you being on this replacement low T therapy outweigh the risk. So I encourage you, get in to see your doctor as soon as possible so you can decide whether or not you should continue with the testosterone treatment. 
My law firm is reviewing cases involving men who suffered a heart attack, a stroke, a deep vein th thrombosis, or pulmonary embolism while taking these prescription testosterone products. The supplements we are investigating include Androderm, Androgel, Axaron, BioTGel, Delatestril, Depo Testosterone, Fortesta, Striant, Testim, and Testopel. It's our belief that the makers of these low testosterone uh, medications, they fail to adequately research the risk of stroke or heart attack from the low T therapy, especially among men with pre-existing cardiac issues. And it's also our belief that these manufacturers fail to warn consumers about the medical and the medical communities about the risk of cardiac problems. So folks, if you or a loved one has experienced heart attack, stroke, or any other cardiac issues because of low T therapy, don't wait. Give us a call, pick up the phone, 770-934-8000. 770-934-8000. We'll be back.